Good morning, students. This lecture is for May 18 and for class 8th English. We are going to study students writing composition, lecture number 1. Let's see. What we are going to study in the writing composition, we are going to study diary entry. Dear students, as we have already done diary entry in the 7th standard also, this will be a sort of practice for you all people and you need to maintain this. I uh, will see the features of uh, a diary entry how to write. Let's go to the, the next how to write a diary entry. This is a sort of practice students. It is written in informal and creative language but still follows a specific format. So what you find here in formal language you can use write informal and the words creative you can use but still that is a format. Then it is always written in the first person and in the past tense first person means when you are writing the diary you are writing about it yourself and the tense will remain past as it is a record basically it happened in the past it usually starts with the day of the week date and time firstly when you start you write the day date are about the time usually at the end of the day at the top left corner so you just need to see it's a simple practice you know how to maintain this this may be followed by a greeting similar to dear diary after writing these all information what we do students basically as a greeting we write there a dear diary right so let's go to next what we find there the important events of the day are usually recounted in chronological order. So what we find students chronological order means whatever you are writing in your diary. Say suppose you attended a birthday party of your friend or you attended any function or uh, marriage anniversary. There something happened with you. So chronological means you will explain the things in the diary sequentially step by step one by one chronological means from starting to end are using vivid descriptions where necessary vivid means various so when you are explaining the things there you are supposed to use the vivid descriptions means various descriptions wherever you feel that you should use to express or explain the things and the next the entry may include the writer's state of mind comments on the events and final comments about expectations of the future so what does it mean by it's your state of mind it's your record basically students you can come in the events or final comment you can prepare as you are expecting for the future like this one should happen this should happen for this for the future you are supposed to maintain the things basically and this will remind you whenever you see your diary in future <coughs> sorry that is gonna to help you basically so ultimately it will be a your format your diary entry right and the next is it ends with the writer writing his or her first name so when you end the diary entry uh, writing its uh, content <coughs> at the end you write your first name writing his or her first name basically then now students that's a point to be kept in mind basically when you write language must be informal you're writing it for yourself stress more on emotions and feelings than on the actual events emotions and feelings which are connected to your days right and the day you spent how you spend the days what good things happened to you what bad things happened to you so it's all about your emotions how do you show your emotions that you need to just manage <coughs> maintain the word limit of the entry excluding date time greeting and a writer's name to within 100 to 150 words it can be 120 words also it should exceed just 100 that's okay so the word limit is okay if you feel that you want to write something more that can go up to 150 words students right time greeting writer's name this sort of things you are supposed to maintain when you write 
you already do you have already done this <coughs> in the past in seventh standard also though it's a simple practice students let's uh, uh, see the format when you write uh, diary entry first you write the day and the date it's a monday may 11 2020 i have written the date just as it is you can write any date when you are writing in the exams basically or when you write at home for practice you can manage it <coughs> it varies or you can write the same date also that's not a problem students and the next after uh, this you write the time at the town then you go with the greeting dear diary so the topic you uh, there is a topics will be given to you so you start writing I'll give you just a beginning. I had a wonderful experience of my new friend's birthday party. Uh, you had your uh, new friend who became just a few days back and he invited you to join his birthday party. You can't believe what and how I enjoyed in the party. You are writing to the diary basically. You are sharing your information with the diary. So students, you just need to manage this first. And after finishing this all, you write at the end your first name that's it for the diary entry students you'll get a question to write diary entry and you need to practice thanks